What's up, Clashers? The Allfather here with uh, an attack review from our latest war against Verglas. We beat them 56-46 and want to take a look at a Hogo Wipe uh, by Darth against Faded Lotus. And do a quick look at the base, scout it out. Uh, Darth and I worked on this plan together and uh, he executed it to perfection. So a couple things that we notice here is that uh, there's a lot of point defenses on the perimeter uh, as well as a very dense area of defenses just to the north of the town hall which makes a great hog run. So we're going to run this through and look at each part of the attack and see how Darth executes this attack. First thing, of course, any successful attacks, Clan Castle Lure. Just one giant there down at the bottom. And you just can drop a Barbarian, drag him to the corner. CC Witches backed up by Wizards. Pretty standard kill squad is going to take out the Clan Castle troops. Make very short work of him. And then he's going to go ahead and launch his Go Wipe phase, miniature Go Wipe. And he's going to place his two golems spread out. It's very important that they're spread out far enough to attract the fire from as many defenses as possible. If you look right there, those golems are attracting fire from one archer tower, one cannon, the mortar, another archer tower, and another cannon. So that's five defenses targeting the golems instead of his witches and wizards. Uh, that's a very critical part of the attack. And we'll go ahead and continue with that. So you'll see uh, he's now dropping wizards up on the flanks there to create a funnel. That is, again, another very important part of this attack. We want to drive all of the kill squad troops up the middle, which they are bunching up right there now. Sends the wall breakers perfect timing. Everything starts diving into the middle. Reason for that being is we need to get in there and take care of that Barbarian King. Drops a Rage Spell. Perfect placement, perfect timing. Gets the Barbarian King taken out. Starts to drive everything up into the middle, and that's step one. We'll stop that right there. And you'll see he drops one hog, followed by the other nine. That one is a scout hog. If there is anything up there, we didn't suspect anything, but just in case there was anything up there, Teslas or giant bombs, that one scout hog is going to help sniff it out. It wasn't there, so he drops the rest of the pack on that whiz tower. And you're going to see that they just drive right down, going from defense to defense exactly as planned and meeting up with the kill squad right in the core which is exactly what you want from a hogo wipe attack is those hogs meeting up with your kill squad just at the right time they're going in front uh, with them taking out defenses in front of them uh, while they're blowing up all the other buildings drops a heal spell right in the spot there where there's the densest thickest uh, group of defenses there and heals the whole time, taking out all those defenses. There's only two left. Got a golem tank and everything. Hogs under heals and everything is gone. And all that's left to do is mop up. He brings a few archers. He's got Pekka going there. Still has his Barb King up. Rages him up. Gets some extra help there. And there's still a witch kind of running around the middle trying to find something to destroy. And... Uh, and this base is toast. Very good attack, well planned, uh, even better executed by Darth. And that is how you hogo wipe at Town Hall 8.